Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte in the Bay State providing a bit of golden inspiration. He was at the Boys and Girls Club in South Boston helping with homework <laughs> and he of course posed for a lot of pictures. Yeah, making a big difference, sharing how his hard work paid off, earning him 11 Olympic medals and four world records. Seven's Janet Wu live in South Boston with more this evening. Yeah, he actually bought all five of his gold medals here to Southie when he came to visit the Boys and Girls Club right behind me. He also brought some very, very good stories. He told the kids here he was not a great swimmer when he was their age. In fact, he was below average, but hard work and dedication really paid off. I'm going to introduce Ryan Lochte. Ryan Lochte, up close and personal with 50 lucky kids. He told them many doubted his own Olympic dreams. When I was growing up, I wasn't the fastest kid, but I had a dream. And there's a lot of people that were around me, and I told them this, and they kind of just laughed at me. Ryan is visiting the Boys and Girls Club of Southie as ambassador of Gillette's Great Start program. What do the kids think about meeting him? It's incredible. <laughs> what was it like being at the Olympics? Being at the Olympics is the most incredible thing. I am going for another Olympics in four years. And he's already back in full training after taking just two months off. I got back in about three weeks ago. So it's already started? It's already started. Ryan revealed that his introduction to swimming was actually an accident. As a three-year-old wearing a snowsuit, he fell into a pool and started laughing. He brought his five gold medals and allowed the kids to pose with them. I walked away with the medal in my hand because I was really, really nervous because I'm a really big fan. He's like inspired me to swim. You guys can accomplish anything as long as you put that hard work into it. So, and most importantly, you guys got to have fun. Talk about fun, more about that story when Ryan was three and he fell into the pool. That snowsuit he was wearing actually came, uh, kept him afloat. His father rushed over to pull him out, saw him laughing, and actually left him there. Ryan spent about two hours here with the kids today, a real thrill for them. Reporting live from Southie, Janet Wu, 7 News.